Hi, this is Chris from Evelyn James Couture. Today is a before video. I'm gonna be showing you a tour of my office so you can see and laugh at the area where I've been filming these videos and um, kind of get a before of how I've organized my purses or in other words, not organize them. It's a hot mess in here. So if you're interested in helping me create kind of the ultimate in display areas, this is your This video. is the behind the scenes video of what my office currently looks like where I'm shooting my YouTube videos. This is the only window in the room, which I often close the blind so it doesn't show shadows or throw shadows on me sitting in this chair. I have my tripod facing the chair. And this is really funny because I don't have any professional lighting. I use the light from the window and in order to not have shadows on my face, I've turned the chair so it directly faces the window. And right over here is where I perch myself so that I can be high enough and the background looks pretty decent. So as you know, I believe that you can have Louis Vuitton on an Ikea budget. This is from Ikea. The lamp is from Target. The table's from Ikea. The chair is from Ikea. Not the cute little storage boxes that I use to raise up the table though. My goal was to have this table above me a little bit to make the frame of my video station look a little more balanced. So the way to do that was to add a bunch of shipping boxes to raise it up. Here's another example of an Ikea piece. I feel like I should pr probably take this out of here. I have a fascination with buying fabric that I haven't used in all honesty. Sewing machine back there buried in the corner unused. I buy and sell a tremendous amount of Louis Vuitton. I don't mean tremendous amount. I mean tremendous in turning my bags over. I like to find new vintage pieces and in order to do that, I sell current pieces. Here are some of my, let's see, can I get those in focus? some of my Hermes bracelets and some of my Louis Vuitton bag charms. You'll see future videos on those. I'm gonna turn here. Here is the lion's share of my storage here in this closet. We're gonna come back to here. In this corner, I have a Louis Vuitton blazer, two pieces at the top, my favorite, which are my vintage trunks and cosmetic section. This trunk has fantastic painted Mon Monogram on it. And let me see, moving these items. It has fantastic painting of the gentleman that owned it. Here is some yarn for knitting and crocheting, my collection of little tiny boxes, more yarn, and my collection of dust bags. So I'm gonna turn and show you what's in the middle of my office. This piece was, along with that bookcase, created for me by a friend, Lee Mayberry. And Lee made this taller for me by custom making extra drawers at the bottom to raise up these two pieces that have been connected together so I can have a standing workstation. I keep all kinds of supplies in the drawers, garbage, gotta have garbage, because again, it's a before. Here's a new Louis Vuitton, I'm gonna be doing a reveal video. And on this side, I have just thrown together a bunch of empty boxes, kind of some bubble envelopes for mailing out pieces. Slowly, I'm gonna turn around, open my doors here. Now again, this is a before. I'm not trying to make everything look glamorous and staged and beautiful. It's just the before. I'll give you an idea of what's in here. Back in this corner is a jungle poppy key ball. 
This is the uh, split key ball, which is the navy blue on the bottom and the monogram on the top. Container with some extra SLGs in it. A little um, display rack for more of my bracelets. This is my silver key ball. We have a, I would say, I'm just guessing from a distance, Speedy 40. Here is a <laughs> project that I dabbled with, which is dyeing vernis. I think I gave that about a solid C on my abilities. There is a sack plat, a um, couple of other little pieces in there. Here is my Louis Vuitton bandeau collection. Can you say future video? A Richard Prince limited edition, an upside down scarf, a Dots collection shawl. In here, let me move this paper, just a couple of my Vivian bag charms. I'm gonna be doing a video on my Vivian pieces. Ooh, here, behind all the keep-all straps, is my new Burberry piece. I'll be doing a video reveal on there. Um, what else do we have hidden in here? Some Vivian, a Wapiti, a bandolier strap, bunch of receipts, an Amarant Alma. Mm, I think that's another Speedy 40. And in this dust bag are two keep all, one's a 50, one's a 55. They are vintage pieces that I purchased that the canvas are, the canvas is in both bags phenomenal. But I had the Vachetta replaced, so they look like brand new bags that are even made out of better materials. So one of the things I'm hoping you can help me with is I'd like to create more of a display area. So one of my options are, is to take the doors off the closet, taking the shelves out of the closet, and maybe putting some of the famous IKEA shelving units in here, or keeping the closet the same, taking down the artwork, the table, maybe moving the chair and putting shelving units over here. I think what I'm gonna do is measure both areas by the shelving units, put them together and move them around and see where they look the best. I would love your comments down below with what you feel is going to be the best way of setting this up. I will see you as I go shopping.